Hello there guys, welcome back to another C Sharp tutorial. In this video we're gonna work with an invisible control that is called the uh, table layout panel control. And this one usually helps us arrange our uh, uh, our window uh, easily. Okay, so let, let's first try to, uh, let me try to show you the problem. Let's assume that that this window over here is a username and password form. Okay, so usually what you want to do is place uh, two buttons. There we go. We need to place two labels. There's the first label. There's the second label, and you need to place two text boxes. So this is the first text box, and this is the second text box, right? Okay. So now I'm going to call this what? Username. Enter. Click on the next one. There's going to be password. Enter. And yeah, this is going to be OK. This is going to be cancel. Okay, so we place this one. We I have to make sure that these controls are one under the other in order to make sure they are well being rendered, you know, correctly without a problem, and so on. Okay, so you have these guys, right? And yeah, and now I should uh, change the size. Okay. So far so good, so I created these quickly. Uh, not much work has been done here. What if I want to increase the size of these and change the size of this window? Let's say I make this one this large. Well, basically, I'll have to go here, these controls, and resize them, right? Okay. What if I want to increase the height? Well, basically, I have to move these guys here. And then let's say for some reason I want to you know increase the distance here. The point I want to you guys to understand here is that every time I am changing the size of the window, I might need to resize the controls. In order to do so, I will have to loop through the controls and uh, give them the correct size. This is not a problem if the number of controls is a few. However, if you have a form containing too many controls, okay, it will be a problem then because you will have to arrange the controls in a way that, um, sorry, you will have to uh, rearrange every control um, based on the new size. This is first. Second, let's say your window changes in size. In that case, you will have to resize every control. Now, how does the controls know what size to take? Okay, how do you do that? Well, luckily, we have something called the table layout panel. And this one solves the problem. Well, first of all, it looks like a table. Okay, and you see these parts. You put controls into them. So here, I'm going to drag this label. I'll put it here. The second label, I'll put it here. This text box, I'll put it here. This one, I'll put it here. No problem. Click on the side here of like that. Okay, not much. Let me achieve, but check this out. Right? Okay. This so far looks okay, but uh, you know, the controls are being aligned to the top. You might want to make them at the center. But basically, if you select these controls, and go and change the anchor property for them. If you make them left and right and hit enter, you will see that they were uh, they are aligned now uh, to the uh, to the middle of the cell, right? Okay. So I'm gonna put that here. Okay. Now. Okay. And I think this is very obvious here. Okay, so far so good. But what if I want to move this one down here? I want these controls, sorry. 
I want these controls to move down directly. Okay? Without me having to, you know, change things every every time. So I can choose these controls and I, there's a property for most of the controls that's called the anchor property. I've ch changed them a, uh, a while ago, a second ago, right? Now the anchor property is telling the control what distance to keep from the edge of the window. So I'm going to make this to the left and downwards. What that means is when the window changes in size, this control will keep the same distance from the bottom of the form and the uh, left side. So now I'm going to change this. Check this out. You see? Okay. And when I change to here, nothing happens. Okay. So far, so good. I want this one to always occupy the full window size. Uh, what that means, it has the, it has the same distance from the top. Same distance, it keeps the same distance from the right of the form, same distance from the bottom of the form, same distance from uh, left of the form. So I only need to change the anchor property to be all of the available size, uh, sides. And I run this. Now check this out. You see, it is working perfectly fine and it is occupying everything very straightforward right so it's easy and uh, the trick lies in the uh, table layout panel actually let us just investigate in this, uh, investigate more uh, with this control so I'm gonna delete the, the everything here we're gonna create a window containing uh, you know a number of things here. Let me see where is the table layout. This is it. Okay. So I'm gonna put one here. I'm gonna change the anchor property. Okay. And now I'm gonna add. You can click here and you can add more rows as you can see. And you can add more columns all as well. Okay. So, and you can put controls into these. So now, you can put a button here, another button here, another button here, another button here, and another button here, right? Okay. However, you might have problem with the sizes. Okay. There are two ways to do it. You could either uh, use uh, change this visually. Or to be more accurate, you click here and select edit rows and columns. And this will open this uh, window. And uh, here you can see every column. And you see there is the column size. Uh, is it a percentage or it is a, an absolute value? So uh, if you want things to be dynamic, usually you might need to use a percentage value. And here it doesn't have to be 50, but I'm selecting all the controls and select a percentage to give them all the same percentage, right? So they all can be the same size. Uh, for the rows, I will do the same thing. Okay. Let's go back to columns. Okay. It's not actually 50, but it's going to change that. Anyway, so I'm going to hit OK. And uh, let me show you this. Okay. Now what about the controls themselves? I want each control to occupy the full cell. So I'm going to select all of these. And I'm going to select this, this, and hit enter. And now you can see now they occupy everything. So let's run this to show you. And now we're going to change the size. You can see now we can change these like that, no problem. You can even even maximize maximize the window, and you see how it appears. So now we have this uh, arrangement of controls that change dynamically with the window. We didn't write any code, and everything looks uh, relatively okay. Uh, yeah. So this is thanks to table layout panel control. Okay, and. Uh, most cases you use it with, uh, you know, when, when you want to arrange things in uh, an input form. Okay, so now let's, let's say, let's say 
you have uh, a form for ent entering uh, user information like uh, uh, for example some for uh, some application form here uh, let me add, 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 add I will edit this one go here choose a percentage okay and now ch check how fast I'm working with this one okay uh, I don't have to worry too much about the alignment because the control is going to do this right away okay and uh, this one right and then we go to text boxes go here 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 okay so like this one this one this and this okay so you do a very quick selection holding the shift key and the clicking them and then going to the anchor property make sure to select left and right enter okay you can see now the all has been set you just change the labels and you have your form very quickly and uh, whenever you change the size you know uh, the, f the form keeps its perspective or uh, ratio without any problem okay uh, not much programming happened today actually no programming at all happened today but that's fine uh, the important part is that we covered an important control and uh, tomorrow we will cover uh, another one uh, uh, I think we'll be covering the tab control okay and uh, after that we might start trying to build some kind of an application a uh, real world application just to understand uh, how to work with these controls and do some of the tricks that we need to do okay so yeah uh, that's all for today thanks for watching and have a wonderful day bye bye